So why study Sanskrit? Let's first of all establish what Sanskrit is. When I first started to teach Sanskrit, I know that many people thought that the main purpose of Sanskrit was for tattoos. And indeed, we had many celebrities who would have Sanskrit tattoos up their arm, often with very important messages, it must be said. But no, the Sanskrit language is a very ancient language. It is close to the source of all Indo-European languages, that's to say all the languages which are in Europe and in India, or most of them. There are many Sanskrit words which have come directly into the English language. Take, for example, the word mantra or guru or yoga or pundit. But there may be one or two Sanskrit words which have come directly into English, which we're not so aware of. When was the last time, for example, that you overtook a juggernaut on the motorway? Juggernaut comes from Jagannatha, which means the Lord of the world. I don't have much cause to use shampoo, but you may, and it's from the root chup, which means to knead or massage, as in the Indian head massage. And I hope you've not recently met a mugger down a dark alley. But you should be aware that the word mugger comes from makara, which means a crocodile. Well, the first person to really point out the importance of the Sanskrit language for the West, that is, was a man called Sir William Jones in the 18th century. He was a judge. He knew 28 languages and he made a very important statement. We have to realise that people like Sir William Jones and his contemporaries were brought up on Greek and Latin and indeed Jones could speak Greek and Latin and could compose poems in Greek. But what he said about Sanskrit was this. The Sanskrit language, whatever be its antiquity, is of a wonderful structure, more perfect than the Greek, more copious than the Latin, and more exquisitely refined than either. And it's this expression exquisitely refined which really hits the nail on the head because this could be a translation of the word Sanskrita, because this is precisely what Sanskrita means. It's an exquisitely refined language. It has a beautiful script. It has a most beautiful sound. Yena kramanti rushayo hyapta kama yatratat satyasya paramanidhanam. When I was a boy, I used to play Scrabble uh, with my family. This is where you, you take various letters, you're given random letters, and you make up words. And of course, we used to refer to a dictionary to check the English words which we had formed. And the particular dictionary which my mother had, which was from 1925, took a lot of English words back to Sanskrit roots. And I remember looking at the word stand, and it said that this word stand was from sta, the Sanskrit root sta, and it gave rise to many different English words such as statue, state, still, constant, station, and it goes on and on, so many English words from this one Sanskrit root, sta. Now, this wonderful structure which William Jones spoke of, part of it is to do with the way in which words are developed. You see, every Sanskrit word starts with a root, and then you get the prefixes and the suffixes added to the root. We could take one example. Take the expression stita prasha from the Sanskrit classic, the Bhagavad Gita. The stita prasha 
is the person of steady wisdom. So we have stita. This is from the root sta with the affix ta. So we get stita, which means steady, constant. Praja is from the root ja, uh, to know. It gives us words like gnosis and also its um, opposite, ignorance. But the ja is the knowledge, but praja is excellent knowledge. The pra has the sense of excellence. So the stita praja is the person of excellent, steady wisdom. Now, here we have a spiritual practice, and this is why I study Sanskrit. I love to investigate these words, to find out their deep meaning, and then that gives me a spiritual practice. So I can remember stita prasha, and I can attempt to be stita prasha, a person of steady wisdom. So this is why I study Sanskrit. If you have liked this video, please like it and share it. And please do also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.